Aussie about. The world's largest honey suppliers. Pollination wizards, nectar nerds, yep, you guessed it, they're bees. Not much people know much about bees except they make delicious honey. But today we guarantee you'll be a bee expert by the end of this movie. So, shall we begin? Alright. These tiny little creatures give us one quarter of the food we have today and many of the plants and trees too. I know this sounds impossible. I mean, how does a bee do all that? Well, believe it or not, humans really rely on bees to do all the hard work that we can't do. So we ask the public what they think of bees. Bee stay people! I am an organic vegetable garden grower and I depend on the bees to fertilise um, the flowers on my beans and plants like that. I don't know much about bees, but I do know that they make honey. Well, it seems like we know everything about bees, but do we really? Bees have been around for millions of years, helping the environment grow. They provide us with over 150 different types of fruit and vegetables all around the world due to pollination. But what is pollination and how does it work? Pollination is a process that bees go through to produce honey. They fly from flower to flower and collect all the pollen and nectar that is hidden inside them. Pollen is what bees eat to give them more protein and nectar is the clear liquid that drops from the ends of the flower blossom. If we don't have bees, we won't have pollination. And if we don't have pollination, we won't have most of the food, plants, flowers. Much of the food we love today would all be gone. But are there any threats for bees? Well, unfortunately, yes. The most common deadly diseases for bees in New Zealand are varroa mites and pesticides. Varroa mites are a parasitic bug that live on other living creatures. As the varroa mite develops into an adult, it kills its host by sucking the blood out of them and then poisoning their body. These nasty little pests are a reddish brown in colour and are about 1 to 1.5 millimetres wide. That's about this long. See the varroa mite on the thorax just behind the head? That red mite. There he is. That sucks the haemolymph out of the bee, or the bee blood. There he is. But for our mates aren't the only thing killing our buzzy friends. There is also harmful pesticides. Pesticides are used by farmers to kill off insects and bugs that threaten their crops. This chemical is sprayed on plants and can kill bees when they crawl over sprayed surfaces of the flower. So. There are a lot of things that are making bees' population go down, but is there anything being done? Well firstly, New Zealand has stopped importing live bees from around the world for over 50 years to reduce the risk of more diseases killing off bees. For beekeepers, they can manage the varroa mite and other bad diseases by using chemicals such as epistan and bayverol that are effective to the harmful bugs but don't do any damage to the bees. Okay, what we've got here is the old varroa strips which have um, all the effectiveness has come out of the strips over the winter. So we put a new lot of strips in for the spring to kill the varroa mite off. These are apivar strips and we put two in per brew chamber. And we put those in nearest where the, all the the young baby bees are that are hatching out because that's quite often where the varroa mite is because it um, crawls into a cell and lives off the larvae and then when the, the cell is sealed it continues to live in there then it breeds so we want these new strips right in in the brood chambers put those up in the middle of the hive where all the brood are They just, those sharp pointy bits just dig into the top of the frame. And the bees walk past that over and over the strips and it gives off a, a chemical. So bees, from these tiny little helpless creatures to one of the most important things in the world, we, we think, think that's pretty special and we hope you do too.